If you're not using the brand new Ultra Slim S Pen and the official S Pen case with your Fold 5, you've missed the point. And here are more than 10 incredible S Pen features to prove it. While the large screen on the Fold 5 is excellent for writing notes and drawing, you can take this so much further with features like handwriting to text, which is built right into the Samsung Notes app. Just start a new note, then tap the pencil with a T icon, and now you can write whatever you want and it'll automatically be converted to digital text. The text can then be edited with gestures like scribbling through letters to delete them, adding a caret between words to add a space, or connecting words by drawing an arc. And if you ever forget what the gestures are, you can just tap this keyboard icon, then tap the settings gear, then scroll all the way to the bottom and select S Pen to Text, then tap how to edit. And here you'll be able to see all the gestures. Speaking of S Pen to Text, if you enable this feature, you'll be able to handwrite in any text box and it'll automatically be converted to text. You could also turn your keyboard into a writing pad by tapping this T with a pencil icon. Now I can just write in this big box. And if I want even more writing space, I can tap this expand arrow and write anywhere on the screen. And this works in any application. If you hold the S Pen button down and double tap your screen, you open up a pop-up note. And this is where things get really powerful. So I've written up some quick contact information as well as an equation. If I save this note, I'll be able to hover over something like the phone number and immediately call that number. I can hover over the email address and immediately send an email, hover over the website and immediately navigate to that website, or even hover over an equation and tap a little calculator icon to do the math right there. So this is extremely useful for quickly writing down contact information or for contractors who need to get a lot of measurements and quickly do the math later. And if you're wondering how I got a perfect rectangle, all you have to do is draw a shape and hold the S Pen down for a second, then it'll automatically convert that shape to a perfect shape. And this works for a ton of different shapes. And this gets even more useful when you realize you can activate this without ever turning your screen on. All I have to do is hold down the S Pen button and double tap again, and now I can get right back into taking a note. And I'll even still have access to the shape features as well. But one important thing to know about the S Pen in general is that it only works on the main display. If I close my phone and try to use the S Pen on the cover display, nothing happens. I can't even navigate around my phone with this. That said, the cover screen is pretty narrow, especially for an S Pen, so I don't know how many people would actually use the cover screen if they could anyway. But let me know down in the comments below if you'd use the S Pen with the cover screen. Beyond having an incredible writing experience, the S Pen gets even more powerful when you open up the Air Command menu by either bringing the S Pen close to the screen and pressing the S Pen button, or by tapping the Air Command menu icon here. This menu gives you really useful features like Translate, which allows you to translate from a ton of different languages. And now if I hover my S Pen over a word, it'll quickly translate it for me. And if I want to translate more than just a single word, I can tap this T icon here to switch that to phrases. Now if I hover my S Pen over it, it'll convert a bunch of text. And if I resize this box, I can be more specific with what I want to translate. This is especially useful when traveling abroad and you need to read menus or signs. And what makes it even more useful is you could even use it from within the camera app without ever having to take a picture. Glance is an incredible feature for keeping track of something without having to keep the app open in split screen view. If I select Glance, it'll take the current window and minimize it down into the corner. Then when I hover my S Pen over that window, it'll bring it back up and I'll be able to continue interacting with that application. This is especially useful for something like sports scores if you wanna keep tabs on it without having to keep the window open big on your screen. And you can also move this preview to any of the four corners if you'd like. And when you're ready to remove the glance window, just drag it over to the remove icon. There's a magnify feature which gives you a little magnification box as you hover your S Pen around the screen and it just makes it easier to read smaller text. I get a few different scale sizes as well. I can go from 150% all the way up to 300% if I wanna make the text really big. And if I tap this expand arrow, it'll give me a larger magnification box. Then I can minimize it back down when I don't need it that big anymore. And this is a feature I use often when I don't have my reading glasses with me. ScreenWrite is great if you need to quickly mark up a screenshot to send to somebody. It automatically takes a screenshot and puts you into writing mode. So now you can circle or mark things and share it with your usual sharing methods. If you enjoy coloring, you'll love the coloring option. This gives you a bunch of different images to start from. And if you tap one of these, you'll be able to see what other people have drawn for some inspiration. Then when you tap start coloring, you can start coloring like normal and there's a bunch of different pen styles to pick from. Or you could tap this fill icon at the bottom and fill entire sections in a single tap, which is my personal preferred way to color. And I definitely recommend giving this a try because it's surprisingly satisfying to do. If you have a strange animal in your backyard, you could take a picture of it, then open up your air command menu and select the Bixby vision option. Now you can hover your S Pen over the animal, then make the box fit around the animal, then tap the image option, and you'll be given some image search results to help figure out what it is. 
Sometimes text on your screen is just not selectable. Like if I long press this text in this widget, nothing happens. It just lets me change the widget. But if I wanted to actually select that text, I can just use my S Pen, hold the S Pen button down, and drag across that text to select it. I can then copy that text and paste it wherever I'd like. If you want to extract text out of an image, you won't be able to just hold the S Pen button down and select that text. But you can open up that Air Command menu again, then open up Smart Select, and draw a box around the text you want to select. Now just tap this T icon, and you'll be able to select the text. And if the text you want to extract is on a regular piece of paper, you can just open up your camera app, open Smart Select again, then draw a box around the text right from within the camera app. Now you can tap the T again to extract the text. And speaking of coupon codes, for this week only, you can get up to $1,200 off the Fold 5 with a trade-in, plus a free storage upgrade, and get a massive discount on the Tab S9, Galaxy Watch 6, and Galaxy Buds 2 Pro if you bundle them with the Fold 5. And you can save up to another $180 if you take advantage of Samsung's offer programs for students, first responders, military, or government employees. I'll leave an affiliate link to this deal in the description and pinned comment if you're interested. You probably already know that you could long press on a subject in an image and it'll automatically be cut out in the gallery app, but it doesn't always work perfectly. As you can see, it grabbed part of the rock between the gorilla's legs and arms. The S Pen has a super easy fix for that. If we open up Smart Select again, then draw a box around what we want to cut out, you can tap this little magnet icon and it'll try to cut the object out for you. Then you can just circle anything that it missed, then switch to the minus tool to take away anything that you don't want, then tap done, and you'll get a perfect cutout. From here, you can pin the cutout to your screen, then navigate to a different app, long press the cutout, and copy it into another application. You can then tap the image and save it, minimize it, or delete it. Live messages let you send custom animated messages to friends and family. And there's a few different ways you can do this. The most common method would be to choose a colored background, and you have seven different colors to pick from. Once you pick a color, just tap Start Drawing, and you'll be able to select from a few different pens to draw with. And each of these pens have different types of effects. You can also select different colors for the pens, and you can even choose a very specific color from this palette here. And you can, of course, change the pen thickness. And here's a quick sample of all of the pens. As you can see, you get two very special pens, one of them which draws a trail of hearts, and another one which draws a trail of snowflakes. And once you've finished your drawing, you can tap Play, and watch the drawing come to life in real time. Once you're happy with your drawing, just tap Done, and it'll save the drawing so you can share it. Once you've created a live message, you can swipe all the way over to the left, and you can see your collection. And here's where you'll find all of your live messages. And you could use this to send silly images, send happy birthday messages, or really anything else you'd like. Let me know how you'd use this in the comments down below. And the last two options for live messages just have to do with the backgrounds. So you could use any photo from your gallery, or you can open up your camera app, and film a short 15 second video, then draw on that video. And whatever you draw on that video will be played back in real time. Just keep in mind that if you're using a video, you will be limited to just 15 seconds of the video. Now let's talk about the most useful S Pen feature, and that's the ability to edit PDFs within the Samsung Notes application. Just tap a PDF, then select Samsung Notes, and the option that says Convert to Note. This will open up the PDF in Samsung Notes, and if you tap this edit icon in the top, you'll get access to all the editing features within Samsung Notes. This includes the advanced highlighter, which instead of keeping the background all faded, it actually makes the background pop out again. Most digital highlighters will keep that faded look. You also get access to all the different pen colors and styles for things like redlining, writing notes, drawing out what you want added, marking up schematics or blueprints, and even simple things like signing contracts for work. And if you have any other great use cases for this, let us know in the comments below. These features are made even better with the official S Pen case from Samsung. This case is so slim that you can wirelessly charge the phone even with the S Pen in the case. And the locking mechanism keeps the S Pen in securely while still being able to easily remove the S Pen with the ejection slider at the top. And I'll leave an affiliate link with a bundle to the case and S Pen in the description if you're interested. But even with the S Pen and the slim case, you still would have wasted your money on the Fold 5 if you're not also using the insane features in this video here, where I show you how to maximize the usefulness of the Fold 5's massive screen. And if you just came from that video, check out this video instead, where I show you the most powerful feature on any Samsung device. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss the rest of my deep dive coverage. That's it for this tech episode. God bless, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.